Uh, you can find Evans Cullum on, on Positive Right, and he talks about health issues and and um, uh, also his own personal story on occasion. That's good. Uh, recently, Devin, you've been talking about um, uh, the smoking issue and, and, and cessation of smoking and how that's a good thing for many people. I wanted to ask you, first of all, um, why do you think there is a high instance of, of, of smoking in the gay uh, population? Why do you think that is? I think smoking in general is used because people feel stressed. It's a very simple act. So what smoking really involves is a breathing in air. Unfortunately, with smoking basically, and because the LGBT community is much higher in gay men versus uh, lesbians, because of the high stress of uh, st stigma, discrimination, ostracization, and isolation, people find ways to sort of socialize. And you also find people in terms of smoking, they're always smoking together in groups. And also, but the, the whole issue of smoking, if you read the column, cigarettes contain anything but tobacco. There is literally zero tobacco in cigarettes, right? So basically, you are actually inhaling the most toxic substances, which you would not, never consciously ever inhale if you are aware of what it was. But it's, in a sense, a social activity that people are doing it for. But and how about in uh, uh, people who are uh, HIV positive? Now, that's also an issue because I think uh, there's a very high incidence of smoking there too, is there not? People, uh, PhDs basically who smoke basically are uh, actually <laughs> signing um, you know, much more into uh, their health issues. And it's a, it's a passive suicide, in my opinion, actually, because uh, smoking also affects your lungs. And when you're positive, you're much more um, prone to getting lung infections, and also especially if you had PCP before. And also the due to the stress and stigma of being a HIV positive, people find they smoke. And we know also smoking contributes highly to cardiovascular diseases. Now, if, if, if somebody wants to give up smoking, how would you suggest they uh, go about it? Aha. So basically there are a lot of different smoking cessation programs, and I think Health Canada have a few options. The Canadian Cancer Society has a brochure for LGBT uh, smokers. Also from the 2006 International AIDS Conference, Every physician basically realized it is his or her job to basically stress the importance of smoking cessation to PHAs. So there are so benefits. integrated into the healthcare system is exactly. better than perhaps it is now. I, let me ask you a personal question: Have you ever smoked yourself? <laughs> no, I think I smoked once for a week when I was twenty. But you didn't inhale, right? I, I honestly couldn't find why anyone finds it desirable. The taste of it is gross. Mm. Not to mention the cough you end up and... And you smell a bit. Oh, you smell horrible. <laughs> yeah. I can identify this. I used to smoke uh, Devon <laughs> yes. until about uh, five years ago. I don't know why, but uh, actually I didn't find it too difficult to, to give up. I guess See, I had motivation. And, 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 you know, it's possible if you have the right attitudes to go through it without too many uh, additional meds. Uh, but that's my plug anyway. Uh, yeah. Devon, um, just uh, we, a lot of people know you through the HIV mov uh, movement, but a lot of us, we, we don't really know much about each other. And I I'm, I'm like how you're using your blog to sort of tell us a about what you do and where you go on holiday. Tell me um, something about yourself now. What, what's your ethnic background? I'm South Asian, so I'm East Indian. My parents are born... Uh, born from India and Malaysia. I was born in Malaysia. I've lived in Canada for 30 years. I also tend to be a very private person on many levels because I work very much in the larger LGBT community and HIV. And being one of the few ethno-racial racialized persons there, you tend to be noticed often. So I tend to keep my personal life private in a way that is possible. Okay. <laughs> okay, I won't ask you too no, many you personal questions. Me, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. You do. How long have you been together? Uh, we've been dating each other for seven years, and now we live together, and he's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you presumably you like Asian food. You can, yes. Can you recommend a good restaurant for people who live in Toronto? Uh, if you're looking for this... There's many restaurants. I mean, in terms of Thai food, I think one of my most favorite is a Green Basil, which I order from. It's in the beaches. And I think they have a few locations. Um, there's quite a few good Indian restaurants on Queen Street. I think called Indian House or something like that. And by the way, I wish I was getting credit for the <laughs> recommending them. <laughs> no, no credit uh, yet. In, nope. <laughs> I know. in general, I mean, a lot of times food basically are much more of, mm -hmm. you know, tasting the food, sensing if it's not too okay, much Okay, now one more question. Uh, what kind of, uh, what TV shows does Devon watch? You know, I, because I find between work and school and stuff, I kind of watch a few mindless TV shows. I don't have cable, I, okay. so I basically watch one of the six stations I get from my rabbit ears. And Devon's hobby is? Um, you know, quiet time, meditation, quiet time. spending time in the backyard, gym, yoga. That's, those are my, my, basically my hobbies. It's more of self-nurturing and taking care of myself. Good.
Devon, thank you for talking to us. And My pleasure. We look forward to reading more of your stuff on positivelight.com. Thank you. Thanks.